UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan makes a surprise visit to Qatar. The International Labour Organization praises Qatar's labour reforms. Meanwhile, the UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak commends Qatar for hosting an incredible World Cup. And finally, everything related to the World Cup is right here. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. In a move that further indicates the warming of ties, UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan made a surprise visit to Doha on Monday for the first time since the 2017 GCC blockade. Sheikh Mohammed met with Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani in his first visit after nearly two years since the signing of the Al Ula Agreement, which ended the blockade of Qatar. International Labour Organization's chief Gilbert Hungbo has praised Qatar's recent labour reforms during a visit in Doha. The UN agency's chief said the reforms and Qatar were a role model for other nations to follow. This comes after Western media had been criticizing the World Cup hosts on alleged migrant worker related issues. Qatar, however, has silenced the doubters with the UN's approval, a testament to its work. Now, Britain's new Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has commended Qatar for being incredible World Cup hosts. His comments came after a FIFA report said this year's tournament enjoyed record breaking fan attendance rates. England beat Senegal 3 0 at a packed Al Bayt stadium in the round of 16 on Sunday. And speaking of World Cup results, Prior to England's thrashing of Senegal, France booked their place in the quarterfinals with their own 3-1 drubbing of fellow Europeans, Poland. Kylian Mbappe got a double with Olivier Giroud making history and becoming the highest scoring French striker in history with his 52nd goal. France now look forward to a date with England on Friday. Coming up today, the World Cup's biggest shockers, Japan, who beat Germany and Spain in the group stage, take on 2018's beaten finalists, Croatia. While World Cup favorites Brazil with a returning Neymar entertain South Korea. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.